just think in the past three years, and I've gotten more into um, diversity, equity, inclusion training, all of a sudden, a light bulb went off for me and said, wait a minute, I've been doing this for 30 years, but it wasn't necessarily race, it was culture. And it was language. And now when they list the biases, and I'm doing a workshop actually tomorrow at an organization, now that we list it, it's not just gender and race. I think those got the most attention over the years. But there is now research out there and articles about accent bias. And the articles are coming from the UK especially. So in the UK, they're saying that the way you speak, and it's my fair lady all over again, but the way you speak is going to say whether you're blue collar or white collar. And so mm -hmm. they need to, t and there is a bias existing in hiring people in organizations. And so they're telling HR professionals, before you have that interview, put a note on that folder, I may have an accent bias. And just by putting that in your head, you're saying, okay, I can't judge the person by their accent. Let me look at their skills. Just like you're saying at TEDCO, look at what their business is and what they bring to the table, not how they speak.